So I've actually been putting this off for quite some time, but it's time to go ahead and fix this. I actually have a little bit of time on my hands this week. All right, so obviously the trunk and the rattler, it comes with a spare tire back here. Here is our battery right there. Some pieces of foam, as you guys can see. So our dilemma right now is this new battery box back here it gets in the way of everything. So I can't really put the last piece of foam back as it needs to so I'm gonna go ahead and try to cut we'll measure a little bit cut doesn't have to be perfect because on top of that our little pieces of like hard plywood they kind of go on the sides of everything just like that basically what that does is it's gonna have a nice even surface because right now the way everything is I don't have that it's like crevices and everything, nothing lays flat. So we're gonna go ahead and try to rearrange the trunk today. So I have personally never tried to do any of this type of stuff to a trunk, but let's go ahead and do it together. And here is the other little missing puzzle piece. So this little piece will eventually be sitting back here like that, giving us a nice even trunk. So with that being said, we're gonna have to go ahead and kind of cut this off, square it off in the top right hand corner. That way it sits flush with everything. So this is gonna be covered underneath the mat anyway, so it doesn't have to be exact measurements, but a good rule of thumb, I have this tucked above and here. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and slice it from here and then that should give us the right amount of space to fit back there. Don't even really know the best tool for the job, but here's a little saw just to get us started on where we need to go. All right, so like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect. It's gonna get covered up anyways. Here is our little mark. I'll give her a little saw action. All right, let's see how it works. Let's see what we got going on here. All right. So there's that. Here's this piece. It's a little bit short, but that's okay. Our next step is to go ahead and cut off the cardboard to this big panel right here which is this guy. And in order to do that, I think we're gonna pull out all these trim pieces. Get everything lined up how it would be in the car. We'll take off this cover, place it in the top right hand corner and kind of get our measurements that way. All right, and this is how the trunk is gonna be set up. Everything's nice and even on here. All right, last but not least, here is this back portion. So as you can see, this whole area right here is gonna to have to be modified and cut. So that's when we take our handy dandy battery cover, top, whatever you wanna call it. This is kind of where we have to eyeball everything. So, we'll, let's just try, let's try something like this for now. So we'll go ahead and trace this out and cut everything squared off. All right, got our line on there. We should be good. So these are pretty sturdy pieces. I might have to use a Dremel. Let's see what scissors do first. That way if you guys want to take on this project, you might be able to do it with scissors. Well, believe it or not, you can use normal day scissors. Hmm. Let's try a razor blade and then maybe we can snap it in half. Well, that worked. 
So like I said, this is all going to be underneath the carpet anyways. It doesn't have to be perfect. I just want to make sure it fits the battery box. But now that we have our line there, we can actually put everything back in its spot. Go ahead and do our test fits. Alright, not bad. And all we really have left to do, cut off that top right hand corner and hope she fits. Well, not perfect, but let's see. Wow, we're talking about like centimeters right now. <clears throat> hmm, almost. So just gotta extend it a little bit more to get past this little hump, and we should be good. What a mess. Let's see if we can get this in two shots. And there we go, we have an even trunk again. All we really gotta do is cover it up, put the mat back in. So I cut the mat a little too big, but this is just a temporary thing until I can figure out what I wanna do back here. But at least for now, we have a flat, we have a flat trunk. Probably tuck this back here. Well, at least it looks good from afar. Not too bad, better than what it was. So what do you guys think? What should I do for the theming of the trunk back here? Go some vinyl plank back here, carpeted. Not entirely sure which route I want to go back here. It's not going to be a show car or anything anytime soon, so don't need to be too fancy. But for now, I'm okay with this. All right, well, I'm going to call this a video here. That was a whole whopping about 20, 25 minutes to go ahead and complete. Keeping everything stock location. So I got the spare tire back there. I got my jack stand, um, speakers, all that stuff back here. Pretty happy with it. So have the stock location of everything. So if you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, anything that you would prefer to see back here leave a comment down below and we'll talk about it so i just want to say thanks for watching as always never live your life in idle and i'll see you guys in the next one peace so i still have my rally art mat this came with the car when i had bought it fits perfectly back here honestly so i could always cut that keep it as is but i don't know this is pretty hefty material, but that is just one option we can do. Hmm, what do you guys think?